Title of the paper I am going to present is Modeling and Simulation of Philip of System Models with Sliding Motion using Modelica. I am Mahmoud Hassan Adib Murad. Currently, I am a PhD candidate at University College Dublin. My co authors are Professor Luigi Van Fretti from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and Professor Federico Milano from University College Dublin. First, I will present motivation and objectives of this research work. Next, I will discuss the Philip of theory and the proposed modeling formulation. Then, I will conclude my presentation following a discussion about the case studies. Modelica is becoming an industry standard to model hybrid dynamical systems uh, described by ordinary differential algebraic ordinary differential equations or differential algebraic equations. If the discontinuities in the hybrid dynamical systems appear in the right hand side of the equations, they are often referred as Philip of systems. Implementations of Philip of systems in Modelica tools without Philip of formalism lead to deadlocks or simulation halt during time domain simulation. Therefore, a generalized formulation is required for a smooth continuation of trajectories of Philip of system models in Modelica tools. Considering this, the objectives of this work are to propose a generalized framework based on Philip of theory for the implementation and direct numerical simulation of Philip of systems with one sliding surface using Modelica to validate the proposed framework comparing the results with the MATLAB based implementation and by simulation in Open Modelica and Daimola. I will explain briefly the Philip of theory now. Let us consider the Swiss dynamical systems where F1 describes the vector field in region R1 and F2 describes the vector fields in region R2. The whole state space is separated by a switching surface. Now, Philip of convex method states that the vector field on the surface of discontinuity is a convex combination of the vector fields in different regions of the state space. Let's say a trajectory X is defined by this differential equation with an initial value x0 reaches the switching surface at any finite time. Now this trajectory can stay at the switching surface or it can cross the surface to go to region R2 or it can come back to region R1. Philip of first order theory this defines necessary conditions for each of these three possibilities. Transversal crossing means the trajectory will leave the switching surface. And for transversal condition crossing, this condition has to be true. When this condition has, is true, at the same time, if this condition becomes true, the trajectory crosses the surface and moves to region R2. And if the other condition is true, the trajectory comes back to region R1. Now, if these conditions become true, then a sliding will occur. The sliding will be attractive if both of these conditions become true. Now, the sliding also can be repulsive, but we do not consider or address the repulsive sliding in this work. While sliding across the sliding surface, the vector field is given by this equation. And this is known as the sliding vector field. Now during the sliding, if one of these two vector fields starts to point away, then the solution can continue above or below the sliding surface and these are known as the exit condition. Based on the Philip of theory, we propose this implementation framework. We have seen that the Philip of system have 
three different states in the region R1, region R2 and the sliding surface. For implementation in Modelica, we introduce two discrete variables Z1 and Z2 into the differential equation. During a time domain simulation, depending on the values of Z1 and Z2, a proper vector field is chosen. Now the conditions to choose the correct values of Z1 and Z2 are these. And all of these conditions are based on Philip of first order theory. During sliding, the sliding vector field is used and these in this work these vector fields are derived analytically. So we have discussed or briefly presented the Philip of theory and the proposed modeling framework. Next I will discuss three case studies implemented using our proposed formulations in Modelica. The first case study is a tick slip system. The vector fields of this tick slip systems F1 and F2 are given by this and the discontinuous surface is given by this equation. This model can be directly implemented using in Modelica. However, a direct implementation of this system using Modelica gives simulation issues both in Open Modelica and Daimola. In Open Modelica, all solvers fail to simulate this system, and it is because of the chattering. And the open Open Modelica, it also shows this error message. Whereas in Daimola, a variable step solver Dassel fails to simulate this system. On the other hand, fixed step solvers for example, ArcFX2 and Euler allows to continue simulation exposing chattering. However, due to chattering, results are not accurate. Using the proposed Philip of theory based implementation, the simulation of this system can be successfully carried out both in Open Modelica and Daimola without any numerical issues. The left figure shows the time derivative of the state variable x1 with respect to x1 with and without the proposed framework. The red trajectory considers our proposed uh, Philip of theory based formulation. On the other hand, the blue trajectories, blue trajectory doesn't consider uh, the Philip of theory based formalism. The result, uh, it can be seen that the Modelica tools shows numerous chattering and our proposed formulation show a continuous trajectory. The results of this example or the case study are validated with a Philip of theory based implementation in MATLAB. Results obtained in different tools in Open Modelica, Timola and MATLAB are shown in this figure. This proves that our proposed method provides accurate results without any numerical issues both in Open Modelica and Daimola. The second case study considers a relay feedback system. The vector fields F1 and F2 are given by this and the switching surface is given by this equation. Following a similar procedure, we implemented this example and we also consider with and without Philip of formalism. This figure shows the time derivative of the state variable x2 with respect to the state variable x1 and the red, red trajectory is with considering our proposed formulation and the blue trajectory is without considering our proposed formulation. Similar to the previous case study, no numerical issues are observed using our proposed implementation framework and the validation of this case study against MATLAB implementation is shown in this figure. The third case study considers an IEEE standard anti-winder proportional and integral controller model for power system application. This model is used in an excitation system and with a power system stabilizer. These excitation systems control the field voltage of this synchronous generator. 
and the synchronous generator is connected to the single machine infinite bus system network. The case study 1 and 2 consider systems described by ordinary differential equation. However, this power system network is modeled using a hybrid differential algebraic equation. Only differential equations are shown here. The switching surface for the maximum value of this controller is given by this equation. Once the controller is within the limit, these vector fields, these differential equations are used. Whenever in the time domain simulation, the controller hits the limit, the right hand side of, the of this differential equation and this differential equation switches to facilitate the anti wind up function. For implementation in Modelica, using the Philip of Best formalism, we need the conditions to check whenever we go to the switching surface, and these conditions are derived analytically here. Also, whenever the trajectory is the discontinuous surface, if a sliding condition uh, it is, it is sliding condition is true, then the sliding vector field is calculated analytically here. So we have the vector field F1, the vector field F2, and also the vector field sliding vector field for the integrator state variable of the IEEE standard anti wind up PI controller model. All of these expressions are used in the modelic implementation. Also, to remove the numerical issues of this IEEE standard anti wind up model in literature, a deadbed based method is proposed. We also consider this deadband based implementation for comparing our result. The disturbance in the single machine infinite bus network is a step change in the reference set point of the ABR and load. The left figure shows the time derivative of the integrated state variable with respect to the state variable using the deadband and the Philippov based method in Daimola. And the right figure shows the trajectories of the field voltage, which is limited this value using the dead bay and the Philippop based implementation. The field voltage shows numeric, numerous chattering or switching bounded by the dead band. On the other hand, a smooth response is achieved using the Philippop theory based implementation. Also, except for the chattering region, the Philippop theory based model show same trajectory. So, a generic formulation to implement Philippop system models with sliding motion using Modelica is proposed. Three examples are presented considering such a general purpose design and implementation details are given. Simulation results in different modelic tools indicate accurate dynamic response without any chattering or simulation halt. In future, we'll extend the Philippop theory based framework for multiple discontinuity surface. Also, we'll study the advantage of Philippop theory based uh, implementation from a computational point of view. The modelic implementation of the case studies are posted online and they can be downloaded from this link. Thank you.